Hi, my name is John Bosworth. I'm a licensed mental health counselor in St. Pete, Florida. I'd like to talk a little bit about the psychological theories of forgetting. Psychological theories of forgetting is kind of an interesting phenomenon. I think a phenomenon. I like to think that um, when people are interested in, in the idea of forgetting, we're probably most people are probably talking about you know when we're stressed or maybe overworked and we've got too much going on and we kind of you know maybe pay attention to one thing more than the other to the exclusion of other and then maybe forget something but on a professional or a um, psychological level there's there are some things that can can contribute to forgetting um, one of the main things is if there's any kind of organic brain damage or any kind of cognitive deficit that's produced by either a developmental disability or organic brain damage in a situation like that forgetting may be um, part of the person's life they may have to adjust to that they may have to write things down they may have to have somebody um, you know, be with them and make sure that they don't forget certain things that are kind of life-threatening, leaving the stove on or, you know, something that's really important like that. Um, but for the most part, forgetting can occur in different contexts. If forgetting occurs within, as I spoke before, an organic or a, within a cognitive uh, deficit, then there's probably not much we can do on a psychological, uh, cognitive, behavioral, or therapy um, level to really address that. It might be more medication and kind of home situational management, that kind of thing might work a little bit better. But with um, some other types of forgetting, there, there's, a, there's the notion of repressed memory. A lot of people say, well, you know, he repressed it or you just, you know, you, 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 you put that memory out of your mind. There's some research that indicates that that is not, um, it's not really an accurate portrayal. Some people actually will forget something, and a psychologist from a psychoanalytic point of view might say that you know the person didn't really forget it, they repressed it or whatever because it was too traumatic. But the evidence is pretty sketchy on repressed memory, so to speak. So most of the time, kids, if they're traumatized or if there's something going on in their life, we tend to just forget about it or we tend to forget it because new information is taking up most of the, you know, the brain's capacity. Um, <clears throat> besides those two areas, most of um, most people at some point in their lives tend to forget a little bit based on, uh, you know, if their stress levels are up high or if they have a lot going on or if there's a lot of stressors in their life. So that's kind of three areas where we have to look at and, and try to assess why people are forgetting. My name's John Bosworth and we're talking about psychological theories of forgetting.